Alright everybody, today I'm gonna show you how to control the blinking of an LED attached to the Arduino using signal from the computer. I'm not going to do the Visual Studio part because I've already done that in another video, which you can find in the description. Instead, I'll be focusing on the Arduino sketch. This is going to be a quick video, so let's get started. So first of all, let's open up the Arduino IDE and uh, <clears throat> I'm going to retype um, the sketch from the other video just as it is. So in the void setup here, we have pin mode, pin 13 to be an output pin and we have initialized a serial communication between the computer and the Arduino in the speed of 9600 bits per second. And here in the void loop, which is the section that gets repeated uh, continuously, um, we said that if there is a there's data coming from the or, uh, from the computer to the Arduino, so if serial dot available available if this returns true then in that case we're gonna read that data so we create a variable called data of type character which takes serial dot read so we read a byte a character and store it in the variable data so if that data is equal to the character A then we are going to turn the LED that is attached in the pin 13 uh, we're gonna turn that LED on so the general right 13 to be high else if data does not equal to the character A, then we're going to turn the uh, LED off. This is what we've done in the previous video, which you can find in the description. I don't want to compile. Well, I don't want to save it, obviously. All right, so it's working. So here, if I um, open up the serial monitor, if I send character A, it turns on. If I send anything else, it turns off. So this is all you know it because it's in the previous video. Again, which you can find in the description. So now what we want to do is instead of just turning on the LED and turn it off, what if we want to make it blink when we send the, the character A and we want to turn it off when we... Um, we want to stop it from blinking when we send anything else. So if we send the character A, it starts blinking. If we send anything else, it stops blinking. All right. So here's what is going to happen. So the first thing, we're going to be creating a new Boolean variable. Let's call it blink. We're going to keep track of whether the uh, LED should be blinking or not blinking. So initially it takes false. Instead of doing this, all we're going to be doing is to change the uh, the status of blink. So if it is true, uh, if uh, the data is equals A, blink is going to take true, otherwise it's going to take false. So here, this will take blink will take true. And here, blink will take false. <coughs> Now inside the loop, the outer loop here, this function, here we're going to always check in. if the blink is true, then we're going to do one blink, one time, turn it on, wait for a second, turn it off, wait for a second, and that's it, and the loop is going to handle the rest. 
and if blank is false then we're not going to be doing anything so if blank is true or since this is a boolean so we can get rid of that so if blank is true then we are going to do one blank so digital write 13 to be high and we're gonna delay for one second so that we can notice the blanks that's 100 1000 millisecond and we repeat the process again but with the LED being off so low here <coughs> Now let's compile and see what is going to happen. Well, great, compile. So we open up the serial monitor and I'm going to send the character A and the, um, the LED on the Arduino started blinking. Now if I send anything else, the LED on the Arduino stopped blinking. All right. For the Visual Studio part, just exactly the same thing from the previous video. You do not have to change anything. If you'd like to make it even one button, we're going to do the same thing just as we did in this video. Keep track of the whether you need to turn it on or off, meaning whether you need to send the character A, capital letter A, or anything, just the same way you've done it with the Arduino, just exactly the same way. Again, if you need, uh, if it is, if it sounds confusing or anything, feel free to leave a comment in the section, comment section below, and I'll, and I'll happily answer it. So, make sure to ask questions if you need to. <clears throat> so, thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and um, see you guys later.